First of all, we would like to understand the process and the procedure that will be followed in auctioning paintings because it's uh, rare for an auction of this nature to happen of art per se. Can you tell us what will be the procedure like? Afrida, right now we are present at the venue where exactly uh, the auction is going to take place. This is a place in Mumbai's uh, Prabha Devi area, the office of the auctioneer uh, firm, Saffron Art Firm. This is that very place where the auction will take place. Uh, if we talk about the process, Afrida, the auction will start from today, which is 26th of March, and is going to be, uh, and it will be there for three days. Today's physical auction uh, day, or on the day one, the auction is going to be physical, and on the other two day, uh, days, which is 27th and 28th, the on auction is going to be online. Today, the registration will start at 6:30 in the evening, and the and the uh, auction will start at 7:30 in the evening. Now, if we talk about how the people can participate in it, they can. It's it's uh, for the physical verification. They can walk in, get themselves registered. Uh, the existing clients of the firm do not have to register again. And now, how the payment will be made? The as uh, exactly like any other auction, the highest bidder will be the successful bidder. And uh, once the successful bidder uh, makes the uh, once the bidder makes the highest uh, bidding in the auction within four days of making the bidding he has to he uh, the person he or she has to make a payment of 10 percent uh, uh, to the auctioneering firm here and after 30 days uh, the highest bidder has to uh, make the remaining payment of 90 percent uh, if in case the highest bidder uh, fails to uh, fails to make the remaining payment of 90 percent within 30 days uh, the 10 percent amount which uh, the person paid uh, in the beginning will be automatically forfeited so this is exactly how that's the process of Rida. Okay. that's how the auction is going to take place here Yes, like I said, there's been auctioning of property or luxury items, but auctioning of paintings is something new that we will witness. However, Santia, we also hear that Nirav Modi's lawyer has already come up with an appeal at the Bombay High Court saying not all these paintings belong to Nirav Modi. Can you tell us about specifically about the ownership and what is the claims that are being made from Nirav Modi's side? Afrida, this uh, uh, this petition was filed in Bombay Co High Court by uh, Camelot uh, firm, which is actually uh, a shell company, uh, which is actually a firm of Nirav Modi. That's what uh, IT department is saying that the firm actually belongs to Nirav Modi. Uh, but if we talk about the claim which the firm has made, they have uh, approached Bombay High Court and have said that out of those 68 paintings which are going to be auctioned uh, by IT department today, only 19 belong, uh, only 19 paintings belong to Nirav. Modi and Camelot firm. Remaining paintings are not of the firm or of Nirav Modi. That's why the auction should be uh, should be uh, should be declared unlawful and illegal. To that, Bombay High Court has a. Uh, uh, has kept the matter on uh, for hearing on 27th of March, which is tomorrow. And till then, there is no instruction from uh, the government of India or Bombay High Court uh, to IT department to hold or postpone the auction. Uh, but uh, if we talk about the firm, the company which has uh, taken an objection to the auction, I also sent a, a notice to the revenue department uh, saying the same thing. But of course, revenue department is not duty bound to uh, postpone or hold the election, uh, uh, postpone or uh, hold the auction only on the basis of that uh, notice sent by a private firm so all they have to do is to wait for any instructions if it ever comes from Bombay High Court or Government of India for that.